Phew. <laughs> Phew. Um, good evening. Welcome to the back to the, the channel. Where Liverpool have just beaten West Ham by three goals to two. But how we have won that game, I will never, ever, ever know. My goodness me. Credit to West Ham. I thought they were very, very good tonight. I thought they played really, really well. Um, and to be honest, it was a night of mistakes. Um, I'll basically go quickly through the... Uh, the goals, obviously, uh, the first goal is uh, scored by Gini Van Aldum. Um, basically, a ball across goal uh, goes to Firmino. He plays, uh, he thinks it's maybe going for a corner, but Alexander Arnold whips another ball into Gini Van Aldum. And Lucas Fabianski, who I will come to, has had a bit of a bad night, it has to be said. Um, but obviously, you know, Van Aldum scores with a. With a header, and then West Ham go up the pitch, they get a corner, um, Snodgrass corner to Issa Dupe, and Alisson should do better, but uh, that's obviously 1-1, it's obviously uh, and then obviously, you know, we go into the break 1-1, one, one. Um, but, you know, we had chances, they had chances as well, to be fair, um, but, yeah, we were very, very poor defensively tonight, and uh, we definitely caught out by a couple of set pieces as well, so... Obviously, that's 1-1 one, one, uh, going into half-time. And then, obviously, into the second half, um, West Ham take the lead. It's a very, very good goal. Um, Fornals, who came on for Suchik, who I thought had a very good game, actually, uh, in the first half. He was, had a good game for West Ham. He comes on into the uh, he comes on to the pitch. Uh, Declan Rice plays a ball in. And Fornals is there to make it 2-1 to, uh, to West Ham. And then, obviously, obviously Anfield is... Uh, silent is a bit anxious, and to be honest, I was anxious as well. Um, but it has to be said that uh, obviously uh, two two comes, and uh, yeah, um, Robertson plays in Salah. He hits the ball, and Fabianski will not want to look at that one again. He lets it go straight under his body, um, and it's a goalkeeping howler. I'm afraid to say, um, and then. Obviously, it goes, uh, that's 2-2. Two, two. And then 3-2, it becomes 3-2. When Gomez hits a shot, it deflects to Alexander-Arnold. Um, he plays the ball. Uh, it goes off Fabianski's knee, and it goes straight to Sadio Mane, and it's 3-2. Um, and then that was all the goals scored. Obviously, we did score another one. Um, but, obviously, Alexander-Arnold, who had a fantastic night again. I think that's another two assists from him. Just uh, and unbelievable uh, for Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, he plays in Manny, but Manny's just offside. So four two three two. You know it would have been would have been very very uh, harsh if it was four two. But three two, we won by the old goal. Um, but that wasn't that was not pretty to watch. Um, not a great performance, but still got the result and. Um, yeah, that's 18 wins in a row now. 18 consecutive wins. It equals Manchester City's 18 wins in the 2017-2018 season. Um, Watford next. It's a big, big... Uh, all these games are going to be big. Four wins now. Four wins away from our first title in 30 years. But I have to say, that was very, very, uh, very painful to watch. But we still get the job done, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. But... Uh, Definitely need to play a lot, lot better against uh, against Watford. Uh, so uh, go, let's go to the play ratings time, and it's time for me to Alison. Um, he should probably do better for the Isidjup goal. Um, has no chance for Farnell's goal, um, and he did make a very good save from Jared Bowen as well, uh, who who is on goal. Uh, obviously, comes off his face as well. Uh, so. I mean, two goals conceded, six, seven. I'll go. I'll go for a. I'll go for a seven because of that save right at the end. I think that is the the, the goal saving, uh, save. Um, Trent Alexander Arnold obviously two assists tonight. Um, thought he was caught out a lot defensively though. That's a, that's another thing you have to say is I thought he was a caught. I thought he was caught out a lot defensively. Um, but two assists and he almost had one himself as well. Obviously he had he had a shot that went just wide of Fabianski's goal. Um, so 
eight, eight for Trent. Uh, Gomez, uh, didn't think he had one of his better games. I, I didn't think he was. I didn't think he was good tonight. Um, so six for Gomez. Uh, Van Dyke. I think Van Dyke was probably the better of the two centre halves. I would have to say. Um, but almost scored because he had a header that just went over the went over the crossbar. Just very very uh, very very close that one. Uh, so Van Dyke, I will give a seven. Andy Robertson, uh, obviously he gets an assist as well. He plays in Salah to uh, make it to two two. Um, and Robertson, you know, he was very very good as well. Um, and I will have to give him a seven because I think, I think defensively, uh, defensively he was good. Um, and then going forward he was good as well. So, um, so yeah, I'll go for I'll go for a seven for Robertson. Uh, Fabinho, I think Fabinho had a good game, um, did everything he had to do, cleared up, uh, when he had to do, um, and I thought, you know, he had a good game, and, uh, you know, I think, I think Henderson was a big, big miss tonight, obviously, but having said that, um, I am happy with that, uh, happy with the win, uh, as I said, so Fabinho, seven, seven again, Gini Van Aldum, um, Gini Van Aldum plays ninety minutes. Not, not, not many times you can say that for uh, Gini Van Aldum. Obviously gets the goal. Um, I thought he was. I thought he had a good game. I thought he had a good game. Um, so seven again for Gini. I thought Gini was very, very good. Uh, Naby Keita, not one of his best games, has to be said. Um, obviously hooked for Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Uh, so it wasn't a very good game. So I'm going to give him a six. Uh, Sadio Mane obviously gets the winner in the end. Um, a constant threat down to down at West Ham's uh, West Ham's uh, sort of right hand side. But I have to say their right back played very very well tonight. Did keep Mane quiet obviously until that that, that last goal as well. But uh, Mane seven seven for Mane. Firmino I know he didn't score, but I thought he played very very well. Firmino a um, couple of loose balls given away. Um, so I can only really give him a seven. Salah, um, I don't like him going down too easily. Um, I, I mean, there was well, there was one incident where he did go down really, really easily. I don't like that in his game, and I want that to, I want that to stop from his game. Um, but obviously it's goal, and uh, you know it's a it's absolute horrible mistake by Fabianski. But for Salah's contribution, obviously 90 minutes again, uh, I'll have to give him an 8. I think he was probably better of Mane and Firmino, for sure. So we'll get on to the substitutions. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, I think he changed the game a little bit when he came on. Definitely looked a lot, lot better. So he gets a 7. Uh, Matip, not, mu not much time to uh, to mark him at all. So, yeah, um, a very, very nervy Liverpool win, but a 3-2 win against a very good West Ham, has to be said. And, um, yeah, we go again on Saturday against Watford. So it should be very, very interesting indeed. But that's been my match reaction. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Who is your man of the match uh, as well? Um, I mean, my man of the match is probably Trent Alexander-Arnold. Uh, but... Let me know your thoughts in the, in the comment section below. And uh, that's been my match reaction. And I'll be back with you uh, sometime this week. Not sure when. Uh, for my Premier League predictions, match week 28. So that should be very, very good as well. But uh, if you're new around here, then subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Like, uh, like this video. Leave a comment. And uh, I shall see you all in the next one. You never walk alone, Reds. See you later. Bye-bye. This means more.